when group riding we operate a second man drop-off system in order to keep the group together. This is a commonly used system in group ride outs. Everybody within the group needs to understand and participate in the system in order to avoid anyone getting lost. The tour leader will set a moderate to brisk pace so that the group spreads out over a few miles. That way everybody is riding their own road. It also allows other traffic to overtake safely, and also allows everybody space to ride at their own pace instead of getting dragged along in convoy. There are three types of rider within the system. 1. The tour leader who is always the lead bike. 2. The backmarker who is always the last bike. 3. The markers are anybody else within the group. The system requires you have one person at the front of the group, the tour leader, who will be familiar with the route and will navigate the way. The system also requires you to have one person at the back of the group, the backmarker, who will stay at the back of the group throughout the entire ride. These are the only two riders who remain in their position within the group. At a junction, a roundabout, fork in the road, or any change of direction that may not be obvious to the rest of the group. The rider directly behind the tour leader, the marker, must find a safe place to stop and indicate the route direction to the rest of the group. If it's your turn to mark a junction think of your own safety first and only mark the junction where it's safe to do so. If for some reason the marker forgets to mark a junction and you are the person behind the marker, third person, then you should mark the junction. The whole group must pass the marker except for the back marker. The marker then rejoins the group in front of the back marker. This approach involves the entire group and means that the markers get rotated from front to back and gradually move up to the front again. This method works extremely well and we have ridden in large groups all over Europe without anybody getting lost. However, it does rely on everybody understanding the system and doing their part, and looking after their fellow riders within the group. This method allows everybody to ride at their own pace within the group as long as the tour leader is always at the front, and the backmarker is always the last bike. Then everybody else, the markers, can ride at their own pace and safely overtake each other or stop for quick photos etc.